Welcome back. Today we're going to tie Kelly Gallup's Stacked Blonde. Uh, we're going to do this on the multi-cam. The last time that I did this one um, was prior to MFC coming out with the, uh, the belly bumper hook, which is a keel hook. Uh, you can see right here. Uh, you'll see it a little bit better when we go into the back angle. But um, you couldn't find these keel hooks for the longest time. Um, I can't remember the company that was making them years ago, but they kind of got, well, not kind of, they got away from them. And then uh, Kelly got with MFC and then, you know, they, they did the belly bumper hook, which, you know, the belly bumper is obviously tied on. And then the stacked blonde as well. So we're going to go ahead and tie a blonde today. This is a size, I'll have to check it. I think it's a size one if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. It's a size one. Uh, this is definitely on the bigger side of the belly bumper hooks. Yeah, this is a size one. You can see right there. It's a, uh, it doesn't have a number or anything. Yep, 7055, there it is on the back if you're looking for it. But if you just order uh, the belly bumper hook from MFC, this, this will be what, uh, this, this will be the hook that you'll use for, for this pattern. So, just getting the thread base down, just getting everything on here. As you can see that kill section right there. And then we're gonna take this about to the halfway point of this flat section or this this portion of the hook before you get to the keel about the halfway point right there and we're going to tie this one in yellow today i almost tied it in white because this uh this bucktail is junk to to be nice about it it's junk but i think that there's going to be enough usable hair in here that we're going to be able to do it it's just not going to be a bucktail that i get a ton of flies out of so when when i sort through this or when i'm when i'm uh cleaning this out i grab this at about the one third point sometimes even the halfway point up and then i just run my fingers right through there and it gets it gets rid of those shorter fibers and run that through the comb, it kind of gets rid of the junk, gets rid of some bulk that you're gonna be, um, that you could potentially carry with you. Um, if you use a, if you go into those shorter fibers and using those adds bulk, but it doesn't give you any motion. So make sure that you clean these out properly to get that good motion. Now, if you want to, um, this is the portion where you could throw some flash in, you could throw some crystal flash or flash of boo, whatever it is, run that back um, to get a little bit of flash in there. But we're not going to throw that in this one. And then we're going to take this a little bit. That is the um, one times the length, a little bit over one times the length. What I'm going to do is peel this back. And like I said, this is some bad bucktail. I would like to go two times the length, but. I'm gonna go about one and a half times. If I can pinch this and keep everything in there. Wow. That's a, not a good bucktail. I'd be ashamed to sell that one. I'd be ashamed to sell that. But anyhow, ideally you would have it two times the length but this one, it's gonna wind up being probably one and three quarter, maybe maybe one and a half, well, one and three quarter, we'll call it. It's definitely not two, but ideally, like I was saying, you would have it two times the length of your hook, but we'll live with that right there. It's, it's close enough, close enough. So anyhow, we're just gonna tie that in and we're going to move this down sitting right about at the halfway point on that keel section we're just going to half hitch right there and then this is where it may really be a challenge because what i'm going to do is tie this portion underneath and i want it going the same length 
close to the same length. If it's a little bit short, if it winds up, you know, right about here, that's fine. But ideally, I would like to have everything the same length on this portion. And then we'll start stacking them, or we'll start staggering them as we go forward. So I'm going to try and find the best portion of this where it's still usable. Because if I go down to these longer sections down here, I get some longer fibers. But it's just, as you can see, hopefully, it's just really straight fibers all the way through. What I really like is this stuff that has a little bit of a wave to it. It fills the fly out. It, it adds profile. It adds bulk with those little bit of waves that are in there. So I'm going to try to use this portion right here. I think this is about the best bet that I have. But like I said, definitely not the best, uh, not the best bucktail out there. But I mean, it's, you know, some of them, you can't get the you can't get the highest quality out of all of them, um, unfortunately. Especially when they're doing the volume that they're doing as far as flies or as far as bucktail and uh, everything goes, you you can't get the best. But can't get the best all the time, I should say. That's where it's really advantageous if you're able to actually go into the shops and and buy them from there. Uh, Alright, this one's going to wind up being a little bit on the short side. So we're just going to cut this at an angle and then we're going to put this on the bottom side of that keel. Should have cut that the opposite direction actually. But we'll make it work. So it's going to sit at that bottom portion of the keel for this one and then I'm just going to take these all the way around and then we're going on that straight horizontal plane right there not on the bent section of that hook I'm just going to move my thumb right through that and allow that to spread around the bottom portion of that hook and there you can see we have everything nice and covered up there get rid of that it's not quite as long on the bottom as what I would like it but still it has a pretty it has a pretty nice uh, pretty nice taper to it so I'm not too awful upset about it now we're gonna go back to two more stacks on this bucktail and like I said I'm going after that wave portion of the hair. I don't want the really just straight fibers in this. I want that wavy portion to it. Just like when you're working with body hair, you like, like that nice little crinkle to each individual fiber and you can see it's borderline right there. It's, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The length's on the shorter side, but that's probably on me for picking the longest uh, hook to to tie this fly on. So I'm just going to measure this out. As you can see, it's going into the back section right there. Um, probably about halfway back. I'd like for it to go a little bit past the halfway point. So I'm going to cheat a little bit right here and catch some of the more bulky portion of this or the portion with a little bit more bulk to it and we're just going to cut that at an angle can get a little bit more aggressive on that angle actually and then tie this on the bottom portion of the hook so everything's lining up to where it's going to go uh, I want to leave a little bit here a little bit I'm going to cut some of that off so I have a bunch of loose wraps to where it's holding everything down there. I'm just going to take my thumbnail and press this down slightly to where it's going halfway around the hook. Peel all of this stuff back underneath. This is going halfway around the bottom portion of my hook, just running my thumbnail in through there. 
And then I want to take a couple of these longer fibers and just get those out of the way. I don't want those in the eye of the hook. There we go. Now I'm just going to take and clean that up. And flip this over. So now we have bucktail going and covering up that bottom portion right there, that bottom plane. And it's not exposing all of this stuff right up here. Or it's, it's covering up anything that you have like that bare hook you can't see on the underneath side right there because it's on that horizontal plane and this thing keeps sliding in the vise a little bit i need to tighten it up but we're about to the end of it so for the last portion we're going to go one stack right on the top and it's going to go right over this portion right here about three quarters of the way back what we already have setting in place and hopefully I'm going to use a little bit less on this one than I've used on the others. A little bit less because we're going to throw some marabou over the top of this as well. So just clean that bucktail out, get rid of these shorter fibers that are going to add bulk but hinder motion, right like so. Everything looks pretty good there. We'll get a measurement on this and it's running up that kill portion and it's just going to be a nice cover but what we're going to do, same thing as before, we're just going to take our thumb and spread that around so it's going to cover all those even on the sides as well. So right here we'll take an exaggerated angle with this like that and then come back to our tie-in point for the bottom portion get a nice loose wrap two three and just get some loose wraps up to the front here doesn't have to be perfect just yet all of these wraps are still loose I don't have anything really tight on there and then I'm just moving my thumbnail right around so I'm covering the half half of the top portion of this fly and you can see how it fills everything out right there gives us a really nice look And the head on this, as you can see, winds up being pretty exaggerated. This winds up being like the old buck, bucktail style um, flies like the, you know, the black nose dace, the Mickey Finn, whatever it may be, the original, uh, the Blonde series. Um, it has that exaggerated thread head all the way through here. This is, you know, being a size one hook, that's about the length that you want right there. What we're gonna do to cut that down just slightly and to also add some bulk to the top portion of this fly and a little bit more motion is throw in some marabou. So we're gonna take this, I'm gonna put one on canned to my side just slightly and then I'm going to throw a second one on there um, to fill this out. If you're tying on a smaller hook, one plume will probably do it, but for these size ones, I add, uh, on my personal flies, I add a little bit of extra bulk to it, so I throw two plumes in there. Right, like so. Measure that out against the first one that we tied in. And then I'm gonna tie this in just canted on the camera side of this fly. thread wraps right here to clean that portion up. We still have a really nice clean eye. Got our marabou filling out the top portion 
And I'm just going to bring this back just slightly to make that nice and even. Yeah. Have some nice clean thread wraps right at the front. And then trim that off right there. So you can see that's an exaggerated front portion on that eye right there or on that thread head, I should say. It's an exaggerated portion. Um, what you can do is take a marker, if you want to put some eyes on that, just throw a, a dot right there with a Sharpie or whatever it is, same thing on that side. But then, to finish it off, let me see where my UV's at. To give that really clean lacquer appearance, I'm not going to do it while it's on camera, I'll do it after I shut the camera off. But to give that really clean lacquered appearance, you can either go with uh, the head cement, water or oil based, uh, with a couple of coats of that, or you can go with the UV and it'll finish that out. But that is a couple of hairs right there that were bugging me. But that is Kelly Gallup stacked blonde. Um, as good as we could do with the quality of deer hair. Or uh, bucktail that we had, but it's still still pretty solid. Uh, eh, it's okay. It's okay. We could do a lot better. Uh, we'll try maybe again here later with some better bucktail. But if you guys have any questions or comments on that one, uh, leave them with me. I'll get back to you. But thanks as always for watching. We'll catch you on the next fly.